I can summon the dead? What the fuck, dude? Oh! <laughs> eat it, whore! God damn it, Kiki! Now you're in the food, and I'm gonna have to tell you not to do that! Potion of nausea. Great. Excuse me, Ryu Pay Payata. What are you doing at my door? I don't even know you, bro. Ladies, ladies, gentlemen, it's noisy face. That's me, and it's the newest episode of Garden Legacy Magnolia Generation, baby. Now, we don't get to grow up Crumple Bottom because my game crashed. And I missed my audition for it, so we're gonna have to do whatever weird thing it is we're doing. It might be a commercial, uh, since, you know, our career took a back step once the tabloids found out we may or may not have kissed our married director. But, <laughs> let's jump in. Did the whole intro with the wrong frame on. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I gotta weed my plants out here, and then I gotta repair my rock machine again. So I got that going for me. Who's walking by that I'm getting minuses to? Whoever this is. Oh no, who died? Who died? Oh, Mari Bell! Mari Bell! R.I.P. Mari Bell. Is, uh, is Daisy still kicking it? Is that, that's my question. Is Daisy still, okay, she is still kicking it. But Mari Bell has passed away. That's so sad. Oh my god, in what world do you think you're getting a burrito cat? Because it's not this one. Yeah, we're super sad about Mari Bell passing. So let's, uh, because all we got is cookies and cheese. Let's make something. Um, I mean, nothing says love like milk bread. So let's. Let's go make some, <laughs> she's so sad. Let's go make some milk bread and then maybe we'll invite the family over today cause it's gonna be a hard day for everybody. <laughs> Cooking level five. And then just for fun when we invite everybody over, let's invite all my boyfriends or potential boyfriends and see if they weed themselves out. Everybody's gathering at my house now. You know, you got Rad Brad Dracula's here. He just invites himself in. He's like, hell yeah, party at polkas. He's very jazzed. Go interact with everyone, girl. Ask him how they're doing. Apparently, you're just going to walk up and kiss, kiss Rad Brad. Izumu's like super thrilled whenever I get... Whenever I get a boyfriend, he's like, hey, I heard you became friends with Tamati. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, sir. Water shut off. That's lame. Look, we're grieving, okay? We're grieving as a family. Grandma, don't kick over my trash can. What's wrong with you? Oh my god, everybody's freaking in love with me. <laughs> this is great. Oh yeah, also if you don't know... Punk did get married to Ferris Bueller. They got this little kid down here. His name is Anderson. So we got that going for us. Oh, Rad Brad's out. Okay, bye, Rad Brad. Thanks for coming over, I guess. Harvest Fest is soon. It's tomorrow, so we're going to have to have another... Uh, I don't think we can uh, eat here. Maybe we should. Um, maybe we should go over to Dad's. And just have a harvest fest with the family. I think that's probably a, a good idea. We'll put on some blues music for everybody. Everybody can just chill. Uh, glad to see you. Oh, Ferris! Are you fixing my rock wall? You're so darn sweet, Ferris. We'll go out and talk to Ferris. Be like, hey, thank you so much for trying to fix our rock wall. That's really nice of you. It's eternally broken because it rains here all the time. I'm just gonna text to Uber for no apparent reason. The rock wall's the spot to be, apparently. That's where everyone would like to congregate. Oh, they're so sad. Okay, Jackson Farquaad is also out. He's trying to leave, but he's stuck back there. Oh, and my producer's leaving too. Bye, producer. Who am I, uh, who am I boyfriends is left? I mean, Legolas is here, dancing. Uh, this guy's not my boyfriend yet, but, you know. Okay, Grandma Daisy's headed out, so, you know, bye, Grandma Daisy. 
Congratulations, Legolas. You've managed to stay the longest. No, damn it. I was gonna go flirt with him, but whatever. He decided to leave. It's fine. AI staffing sent you a message. Hello there. Hello. Um, I'm not gonna go to work today or tomorrow because it's Harvest Fest. So you can leave me alone. I should get, um, the decoration box, though, and put it here in the corner. Oh, we'll put up our Harvest Fest decorations. That's so cute. Look at my cute little house. Oh, my producer just came back in. I don't know why. Hello. I, uh, I thought you had to go, but okay. Like to take things- Yes! Yes, damn you! Okay, so that's- That is our final boyfriend because we've run out of sluts. Oh, he's a cat lover! That's good, because I've got a lot of those. Oh, we got Grandma's Chicken! You guys remember Grandma's Chicken? Oh my god, because I totally do. Because I totally do. Ooh, I don't know why I can't. Oh, because I'm taking a photo with my boyfriend. I can say, I don't know why I can't move Grandma's Chicken. Um, It's because I'm taking a photo for my boyfriend wall. Oh my god, that is adorable. Apparently, I also wanted that bowl of fruit. So, so we'll put that out too. It's fine. It's Okay, I took down the picture of Cove, because Cove is no longer my boyfriend. So, you know, I got that going for me. Look, hey, glad you're, uh, glad you're my new boyfriend, Tomaty. I'm, uh, Tomaty, yeah, that's your name. So, Tomaty, my dad once told me, if, uh, if someone loves you and you dare them to go streaking, they will go streaking. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it, Tomaty? Tell me about it. Tell me about it, because that might win. That just might be the winner Stop, <laughs> of the Corbett thing. Day. My dare to streak option is gone now, that? so I guess I guess that moment's <laughs> over. All right, well, as fun as flirting, hello, Velma. You apparently got married because your last name is Jessica. We've been thinking about trying for a baby. You think we should do it? You decide for yourself, Velma, okay? I'm not in your life anymore. Ask Shaggy or anybody else from the mystery gang about that. We're gonna experiment. I don't know what's going on with you, man. I tried to tell you to streak and then you're just gonna come in and eat my food. Okay, I mean, that's... Why is there a cake up here? Why is that doing a thing? We're gonna play with our cats a little bit here. Our new boyfriend went home. If my laundry didn't get dry, and I try to dry it again, oh, will it start a fire? <laughs> Guess there's only one way to find out. Because it should start a fire pretty quick if it's mm -hmm. going to. Oh man, I hate that I'm even doing this, yeah, but I'm man. gonna. Oh, okay, well that didn't start the fire. The, my cooking apparently did, so. You know, why don't you extinguish yourself? Uh, you could call the fire department. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe don't just, oh my god, girl. Okay. Dude, I don't got, like, the cold hard cash to just, to just replace Oosh. those. So I really hope I can fix them with my magic. Come on, girl. You can do it. Fix it, fix it with your magic. Where's my magic meter? Is it under here? I always forget where it's at. Yup, it's, uh, it's cold cereal for you, I hope- Hey, my sister's here! Hey, sis, glad to see you. Thanks for coming. Did you sense there was a fire? Because there totally was. It's Harvest Fest! Yay! We need to clean our lint tray. And then maybe do some laundry, and then we'll pack up, you know, some food from our fridge. We'll go over, and we'll, uh, we'll see Dad today. Our tradition is complete. Did we get any gnomes? Oh, we did. I'm gonna try to appease these gnomes. I do really like this bunny gnome and I will keep it if I can appease it. If I piss it off, you know, maybe it doesn't like pie. It loves pie. How about you? Do you like uh, Finn aged up? Oh no, Finn is now an elderly cat. Whoa. Finn Rizal. You were so good at attacking people. Why? Anyways, I'm giving this gnome. Oh, why that gnome is mad at me. Gonna sell some of my apples. Going to harvest some of my apples. 
that I have them for potions. And then I have to hug and pet my little baby cat. Oh, I love you, kitten. Do I have always welcome so that I can um hook when I get to my parents' house? Let's find out. I don't, but I can get it. All right, let's uh let's go over to my dad's house. Let's all gather by the permanent snow globe. Let's be excited that this is here. Because, you know, God knows a day can't go by without us being, uh, you know, thankful for that. And then we'll uh, tell everybody, like, hey, I'm glad you all came. I'm going to talk to Ferris Bueller about underwear and handcuffs because that's just how I do. I'm feeling playful and nobody would appreciate that more than my dad. So I told her to go trick him with a hand buzzer. We'll see if she uh, gets around to that. There she goes from way over there. Of course he's going to love it because it's Icarus. Chaos rules. Hell yeah, it does. All right. I'm going to get to cooking the grand meal. This may or may not go bad for me because I can not even cook a burrito. But in the meantime, but in the meantime, let's pull out some cheese. And some cookies. We brought those for everybody. Some milk, bread. Just leave that right there. Make that turkey, girl. Oh, Don't be Lord. flipping shit like you know what you're doing. Yup, well, that went badly. That went badly. We're gonna need to extinguish this. Extinguish it, girl. Don't just panic. Put it out. I'm going to add my dad to my family long enough to have him cook the meal. It's fine. I repaired the stove. Nobody panic, okay? You know, it really wouldn't be a wizard hard Thanksgiving if somebody didn't make popcorn. Everybody come sit down. Everybody come eat this meal that my dad has prepared. Um, what's my other thing that I want to do? Thankful spirit? I've tried to tell a bunch of people that I'm thankful. And look at this. Isn't this like a cute little harvest fest? Everybody's just hanging. The family lambs. We're going to give my sister's husband some snapdragons because Lord knows we've got a million of them in our inventory. All right. I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and go home. This Thanksgiving has been very successful. I'm going to put my bike, put my bike in the middle of the hallway. Look, girl, I, somehow I don't think that's going to work out for you. But you... Oh, my God! Apparently it is! Oh, did you bring me plants? That's nice of you. I'm going to open these. Dahlias and green beans. Now that Harvest Fest is over, let's go ahead and uh, secure a job. Hey, I'm still super good at sports. Um, I don't want to do this again. Oh, detective law or residency of heart. Which one pays more? They both pay about the same. This I need really high charisma level. And this I need, I mean, I feel like I'm going to go on CSI. <laughs> it requires fitness level five. I am fitness level six. I think I'm going to go ahead and end out the day here by traveling to the magic realm. Um, I do need to learn Ready, more fuck. potions. It's a lot to balance, man. I'm just saying. You know it's a good day in the magic realm when your boyfriend is just magically there. Hello, I missed you. I had a good harvest fest. Uh, you left the other day before I could flirt with you and play sports at my house. Okay, we're done flirting. We gotta go talk to this sage. This sage upstairs about, I think that's Legolas in hot pants. I'm sorry, I got distracted. I gotta go talk to this sage. I need to make more potions. Let's just save all my magical experiences in my phone. Okay. Raharu Tilo. At this point, all the names are like ridiculously hard to pronounce. But I need you to um, talk to me about uh a potion recipe teach me a potion maybe like all i have in my garden are apples in my spell book so that's gonna be in here what did i learn what did i learn let's find out 
Potion of Nausea. Great. While we're in the magic realm, let's Darth go ahead and summon our crow. Summon our crow back out. Come on, Lennox. You and me, <laughs> let's practice our magic. Let's do everything with that girl's running. Harvest Fest was successful. Heck yeah, it was. Uh, Polka has discovered a new spell. I can summon the dead? What the fuck, dude? Polka has discovered a new spell. Oh, Flalarial. I might actually need that. I'm just trying to get her, uh, her level up here. So she'll level, yes. Do magic next to me. I'm not going to challenge you to a duel. Yay! Okay, we got two talent points. What do we want to spend them on? Obviously, the potions. Extra chemistry. I want that. What else can we get? Knowledge is magic. I don't know that I need that. Discharge. Sims can now cast Discharge, which empties Spellcaster Charge. Incredible Forager might be good, so let's take those. The Legolas is here as well, so let's go down and we'll talk to Legolas. We'll be like, hey, first of all, uh, I think you're super hot. <laughs> second, second of all, let's have a magic duel, okay? It'll be great. You and me, nice pants, by the way. This is a, this is a whole look. All right, here we go. Here we go to magic duel it out. You and me, Legolas, and my crow. I noticed you don't have a familiar. What is up with that? Let's go, bro. Can you take me down? I'm very excited to know if I will win or if you will win. Because, like, I feel like I'm not that high of a spellcaster. But one never knows. I am deflecting your bullshit, okay? And I did win my last magical duel. Come watch me, Sage. Be impressed as I fight my boyfriend in tight red pants. She is not impressed. She just rolled her eyes. Oh! Eat it, whore! I will just go home, must say ill. Glenda aged up. All my cats are getting old. Can you handle a grilled cheese, girl? Tell me about it. Because you... You've been setting an awful lot of fires lately, and I don't exactly care for that. Maybe we should put in a fire, like a detector, because um, I do not have one. There we go. That's... That feels safer. Okay, we didn't burn the house down. We're going to eat our grilled cheese. We're also going to pet and love our elderly cat. We gotta get some piano on here because we are still working on that apparently yeah go girl you're super inspired over here playing your piano you're gonna level that skill up today huzzah well you're feeling musical why don't you uh work on some singing get some singing done as well and then we might flirty text all of our boyfriends to see if any of them invite us on a date that'd be fun my cat is here for the serenade. Just chillin'. Now we can flirty text everybody, baby! There she goes, sending her flirty texts. You know, I was looking at my relationship here, too, um, with, with all my boyfriends, and, like, look, Brad Brad and I are barely, uh, <laughs> if you're in the mood, maybe we should hang out and grab a drink. I mean, you're on the ball. So I'm gonna accept that. Oh, we're at the ice cream parlor lounge. How's it going? First of all, thanks for inviting me here. I'm gonna do an impression of my last director. Oh, I'm married. I forgot to tell you. Flounder Marin from uh, <laughs> Little Mermaid is apparently the bartender now. It's no longer Harry Potter. Also, this girl's absolutely adorable. Oh my god, am I ordering my drink through the brick wall? Because of course I am. Because of course I am. Hey, Grandma Daisy! Oh, she wants to break up with Rad Brad Dracula. Okay. 
fair because I was just saying I was just saying that I don't know about that. Why don't I serenade everybody in this ice cream bar? I'm not sure where the guy who asked me on a date is, but you know, whatever. Well, there he is. He's hanging out in the doorway. Hey, what's up? I'm going to kiss you right here in front of my magic trainer. Um, also, I guess we're going to go outside and talk in the rain. Velma, I literally don't care if you have children. Why do you keep calling me Velma? Oh, she's going to tell him she's going to break up with Brad Brad. She's like, yeah, I have a million boyfriends. I'm going to break up with Brad Brad. He's not very sweet, turns out. Oh, we got a sentiment with him. We're closer from happy. Wait, he's married? You said you were single, I, sir. That okay? Yeah. Stop. Abort. Abort. We gotta that break up with Shemandra. you. Is that why well, you invited bro, me on this bro, date? Okay. Yeah. Because you thought you looked so cool in your cool suit, and it really was the suit you wore to your wedding. You told me you were single, and then I looked up your profile online, and it said you were single. So what's up with that? You know I don't date married people. Gotta break up with Brad. Brad. We'd now boyfriends like crazy, I guess. Would you stop? I'm sorry. It's it's over, Tama T. Cause you went and got married, and I don't I don't do that. Don't act all sad. Don't act like you're sad. You literally went and got married. Okay. What do we have here? What is that sentiment? Oh, you're bitter. You're bitter, are you? That was his wife, the lady who's super cute. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna go home then. <laughs> and then we're gonna call Rad Brad, and we're gonna break up with him, and we're gonna see if he gets bitter. Don't be sad, me. Well, you can be a little sad about it. You literally asked him if he was single before you put the moves on. Then he came to a party at your house. Then he left, came back, was like, date me. Also, I got married. Mary, maybe it was like an arranged marriage. I don't care. We've only broken up one marriage so far in this series. All right, Rad Brad, why don't you uh, come on over so that I can break up with you? This, this is the face of a woman who keeps, who keeps getting uh, in relationships with married men. Oh good, you're here. Look, uh, about our relationship. I never see you and uh i think you asked me out just out of convenience because you were literally flirting with somebody while i was there i mean i'm just saying i'm weeding out my boyfriends and it said i wanted to break up with you so there we go i'm like angrily selling all my apples that's great okay yeah bye see you later i don't know why i can't magic repair this i can only uh repair it with uh, my actual hands, so I mean, I think I'm gonna have to make her do it, <laughs> even though she's gonna hate it. I'm sorry, and it's time for my audition. You know, that's great. I'm in a great mood, and I'm comfortably wet. I'm super pissed off. Audition pass, Polka. You've been hired for the role in the police force drama. The idea of Sims having a force that can maintain any sort of order is laughable. Through a fault your nature, uh, through a fault your nature, that's a sentence, you are all chaotic. We look forward to this comedy. Oh, it's a comedy. Well, on that note, I think I'm gonna mope myself inside the house to have a bean burrito and sing in the shower and go to bed. Uh, we will be on the police force drama next episode and maybe my boyfriends will just keep weeding themselves out we're we're gonna see